there's one very pathetic thing about some of us that call ourselves Christians. Everything about our life, we have invested it in the church. In fact, our faith, our hope, including our finances, have all been gathered together and such investment is done in the church. And we see our church as a one big family that people come together to worship before the Lord. But we care very little about what the church does to our soul. The ignorance that we have is a whole lot of us do not know that the church is all about the redemption of soul, not about making people rich. Because based on what the Bible said, the Bible said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto you. It is that addition that has become the fancy of everyone. If you attend a particular local church, and the church care little about your soul, that church is not meant for you. If all through the years you have been a member of that church, there is no day that that church has inspired you to be closer to God in terms of giving away your life of sin and moving closer to your maker and forming a relationship with him, that church is not for you. There's something about this generation that amazed me a lot. It's about the fact that we have totally stopped thinking. A whole lot of us do not even think about that there is a life hereafter. We place so much emphasis on what the church can do for us in terms of blessings, in terms of pronouncement of blessings upon us. And the fact remains that out of all those pronouncements of blessings, how many of those blessings have we really experienced? There is a need for us to give a thought to this area of our life. When all we are concerned about is about being blessed by God in our local church, what we are doing is that we are helping a particular man, perhaps the establishment of the church, to fulfill their own vision. Why our own vision is dying gradually until there is no place for our vision anymore. Think about this. When else you go to church, look for this very important thing in the church. Is it about your soul? Or is it about blessings that you can get on this earth? And how many of those blessings pronounced on the altar have you been able to assess? Let us stop deceiving ourselves. That one thing we should always seek for anytime we go to church.